Uh, Seinfeld, which you co-created with, uh, with that other guy, uh, of course, it, it, there are all these episodes of Seinfeld that have now become famous and part of the TV lore. One of the most famous was the contest. Yeah. Where all the main characters had to refrain from pleasuring themselves yeah. for uh, quite a while. And that was actually from, that, that idea came from you. Is that right? Yeah, that was based on uh, something that actually happened to me. Okay, you actually had a contest like this in your life. Yeah, I was in a contest. Okay. Um, what was the reason for having a contest like that? I just got a little tired of it. You know? <laughs> it seemed like it was. Uh, it seemed like it was in the air. There was too much of it going on. I right. wanted out. You know. <laughs> you wanted out. I wanted out. I didn't want to have anything to they do with it anymore. They keep dragging me back in. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I needed. Uh, I needed some uh, motivation, you know, right. to get out of that. Right. Because, you, you know, you need to be motivated to do that. Right. So um, I decided, I was talking to a friend of mine one day, and uh, we decided on this contest. Right. Yeah. And did you, did you, because in the show, you, you pretty much are the George Costanza character. Are you the one that won the contest, just as George did in the show? Yeah, I won the contest. Um, okay. But I was weakening in the last couple of days. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice yeah. that you could share that, though, with America. I, I'll share everything with America. Yeah. Now, you don't, you're not, you haven't, you don't appear on talk shows. You, you're very happy to, you haven't done this before. No. You're not, you're not comfortable with the whole promotional I'm, aspect I'm of this. Let's be honest. I'm comfortable in my living room, so, but that has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> right. No, because it seems, uh, it, it seems kind of silly. Why? I'm going to come out here and start talking about this special and people are going to go rushing for their pencils, you know? Right. I mean, the whole idea is preposterous. What, what, what's, what's the point? You don't think you're helping by appearing I'm on this hope. show. You don't think, think you're helping your special. I think people will come out here and, and deliberately not watch after having seen me. <laughs> I think that's possible. I, I don't see the whole point of it. It seems like it's like it's a bizarro kind of plot. Yeah. Right, right. What about the whole celebrity interview thing? What do you think of that? I mean, the whole con uh, concept that these shows are just celebrity interviews. What do you think of that? I don't even know what you're referring to. <laughs> You oh, think it's weird? It's a contrived conversation, oh, is that it? it? Oh, totally. Yes, I you, do. I do think that. You yes. wouldn't talk to me if you saw me. It's a contrived conversation. Oh, it's so yes, contrived. I do. It's yeah. a contrived conversation, totally, huh? Totally, totally. Yeah. There you go. Uh, <laughs> no, I know I have an opinion on that, but I just don't know what it is. <laughs> you, uh, you were a stand-up, and you're returning to stand-up. And yeah. it was hard going when you were stand up. Yes, it was I've a heard. little bit. Yeah. How hard going? I mean, what would happen? The audience would actually be visibly angry of, with you. A lot of times they would be very upset with, my, with me or my material or some combination. Right. And uh, I would be heckled un unmercifully. You know, and really? I, didn't, I, I didn't know how to re I didn't react to it like a comedian, like to have a, like something like funny to say, something witty. I just kind of, uh, you know, I was like McEnroe up there. I would be very temperamental. I go, why, why are you saying that stuff to me? You know? <laughs> I'm a sensitive person. You can't talk to me like that. And I would like to freak out. You know? <laughs> I did my deal. I didn't have snappy comebacks. Uh, That's the worst response you can have. Yeah, the worst. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I happen to have a terrible temper that's accompanied by no guts, which is also a, a very, <laughs> very bad combination. Really? Okay. Yeah. I got to catch your act. This sounds fun. No, don't catch it. Okay. Don't catch it. Yeah. <laughs> So don't watch the special Larry David Curb Your Enthusiasm you don't have to, no. on October no. 17th at 10. I, you know, if it was on in the daytime, I would say definitely don't watch it. That would be idiotic. Right, you know? right. You're not going to stay home. I'm going to stay home you know, right. today. If you have nothing else to yeah, do. No, that's stupid. But okay. at night, maybe if you're passing by it, watch it. You know? <laughs> the best plug we've had yeah. in six years on the air, yeah. Well, Larry, thank you very much for stopping well, by. Well, thank you so much. Best for of luck. Yeah. Thanks for indulging us. Yeah. Larry David. Eve is coming up. We'll be right back. Stick around.